This is breaking news. Lauren Bober accused of hypocrisy over Ten Commandments comments. Republican Colorado Representative Lauren Boebert is facing a wave of backlash after she expressed support for a new Louisiana law requiring the Ten Commandments be displayed in public schools. Boebert is among the many conservative Christians are supporting the law, but First Amendment advocates are warning that it blurs the line between religious institutions and the government and may be unconstitutional. Boebert, however, dismissed those criticisms during a recent interview with conservative leader Steve Bannon's War Room podcast. Listed in the Ten Commandments, thou shall not steal. Maybe the left and some of these politicians are having a meltdown over having that right there listed in our classrooms. Thou shall not steal, because government hates competition, and they don't want our children to realize that's something you shouldn't be doing, Bobert said. The Republican Firebrand's remarks drew backlash after Ron Filipkowski, the editor-in-chief of Midas Touch and an anti-Trump attorney, posted a clip of the interview to X, the social media platform formerly known as Twitter. Critics accused Boebert of hypocrisy over the comments, pointing to recent scandals she and her family has faced. Last year, Boebert faced scrutiny after appearing to vape and fondle her date during a Denver theater production of Beetlejuice. Meanwhile, her son Tyler Boebert has been charged in Colorado in connection to a string of vehicle trespass and property thefts in Rifle, according to the Rifle Police Department. He has pleaded not guilty to the charges. You have to hand it to Boebert. Her hypocrisy and lack of self-awareness are painfully obvious, posted ex-user Charles Campisi. Journalist and lawyer Seth Abramson wrote, You can't make this up. You'd be laughed out of the writer's room. She didn't even teach her own kid not to steal, wrote Fred Wellman, a Democratic podcaster. When you're trying to legislate morality, guessing a little hypocrisy comes in handy, wrote ex-user at Sunday Devane, who has more than 100,000 followers on the platform. Maybe they should put them up in every theater too. Posted Patriot Takes, a profile that frequently criticizes conservatives. The comments from Boebert come as she is set to face voters next week for the first time since announcing her plans to switch congressional districts. Boebert currently represents Colorado's third congressional district, which is viewed as only having a narrow Republican advantage. In 2022, her election was one of the closest in the country, with Boebert winning by less than 600 votes against Democrat Adam Frisch. In 2024, she is running for the seat in the more conservative 4th Congressional District, comprised of the conservative, rural easternmost parts of the state, as well as some Denver suburbs. She is viewed as the favorite to win the primary on Tuesday, and Republicans are generally favored in the district.